vlogging day and I'm so happy to be vlogging after such a long time. Today is uh, off for me. I actually took off because of the protest that's happening in Bangalore and I did not want to get stuck in traffic because it's the exact route that I take to college every day. So I decided to stay back and I thought, okay, why not vlog today because we have a lot of exciting things to do and I have a lot of updates to give you guys. So without any further ado, let's get this day started. It's actually 11 o'clock right now. Uh, we, me and my husband, we got up at around um, 6 o'clock. We wasted one and a half hours thinking whether I should go to college or not and then I decided not to go. And since then we've got a lot of work done actually. We got laundry work finished and we cleaned up the house. We had our breakfast and uh, that's my little doggy there. Just chilling. <laughs> And yeah, we've done all the basic stuff, so now it's time to get to work. And with that, I will just show you what's going on. So with that being said, let's start off with all the tasks that we have in hand. So I use these. These are post-it notes. So what I do is I write down the tasks, I stick it in front of me, and as the day goes, I keep ticking off the tasks that have, that have been completed. So I color code them, blue for personal tasks, green for work related tasks and pink for urgent tasks so this way i just know what i'm doing and it's always right in front of me and also i lost my undated journal that i showed you in my previous vlog i absolutely used to love using it but when i was shunting places i misplaced it and i never found it after that so that's sad Talking about the most important tasks, the first is I have a discussion. I have a discussion on pulpectomy and MIH. Other than that, I have some soldering work to finish and I also have to edit and release this video ASAP. Uh, other work related tasks would be like I have to choose my LD topic and then I also have to finish my record and I have to submit a letter to the principal. Personal task basically is um, I have a doctor's appointment tonight and I also have to collect the reports for the same and if possible I really want to give my calf a cleaning it's so dirty inside. It looks like, like these are the older ones and this is the latest one so yeah I think this is more than enough for me to get started with my day and yes. So I'm starting off the preparation for pulpectomy and here I'm using the textbook Grossman. So what we do in PG Life is that whatever topic that we are studying, for example, if uh, the topic of, uh, you know, for cleaning and shaping of root canals. So this is an endodontic topic, right? So what we do is we choose the best standard textbook for endodontics and we study the topics from them same goes for topics that belong to like orthodontics or surgery or something like that this way we kind of gather the best knowledge possible and apart from this we refer to tons and tons and tons of research articles review articles um i know many people will not be well versed with this term so don't worry maybe in the future i'll make a video on uh, what these terms mean and what we actually do in terms of you know research and ld and all of that so if you are interested in it then please leave it in the comment section below then that way i would know that okay this is the type of content that you guys are interested to see so yes um so the app i mean the app and the device that i'm using here is my ipad and the app is the good notes app this these two have literally become my holy grail since i've joined pg simply because of the fact that each textbook that i refer to they are so huge they are a minimum of thousand pages each and it, it it's almost like impossible to carry them around so um luckily i have pdfs of all these textbooks and i've just loaded them onto the ipad and i kind of you know uh, it's easier for me so here you can see that the different textbooks are kept under different categories if it's uh, exclusive periodontic textbook books then it's in one folder and if it's my uh, subjects uh, from BDS for which I have to give a basic sciences exam in December then that's in a different folder. Navigation is very very easy when it comes to having a digital form of information. You can use uh, you can search terms using keywords. You can also like um, you know bookmark pages that are very important and you can access them from the uh, sidebar. So this way it just gets really really easy here you can see that this is uh, notes given to me by my senior so what i do is if there's a topic say pulpectomy 
then all the research articles that I'm referring to, the notes that I have, I keep them all in one folder. So when I press the folder pulpectomy, I have all the information under one roof. Here, uh, these are the notes that I've made. So these are my thesis notes. This is related to the topic that I'm doing my research on. So uh, this, these are bits and pieces of information that I've collected from various articles and um, all these cute, cute uh, pictures, drawings that you see here is done by my co-PG, Dr. Sahana. So thank you for the colorful <laughs> view right now. But yeah, having good notes on iPad is a total, total game changer. A lot of you guys have been asking about my desktop and my stationery collection so I just thought I'll show you guys quickly. So here you can see that there's like a photo gallery going on. This is usually the background of my video. On the top you can see that this is actually Alicia D'Souza's planner box. So I'm, I bought this two years ago I guess. I kept the box because it's really cute and I store double side tapes in it. These are all expired makeup products, but there are some high-end products in it. So I have a little bit of attachment value because I saved a lot of money to buy these, but unfortunately they expired. So I still have them kept here. These are some tarot cards and here I usually keep the books that I refer to most often. So my pediatric books are kept on the bed behind me. I have some lotion to reach out to quickly, some fragrances that I absolutely love. And this was a candle gifted to me by my cousin. This has mine and my husband's initials and our wedding date. And it smells absolutely divine. And these are some notebooks that I reach out to quite often. In this trolley here, I keep stuff that, uh, you know, to which I can reach out very quickly. My post-its, some hand cream photographs for anything, nail cutter, clips, medicines and then this box has nuts to munch on when I'm hungry and then some oil because my um, feet uh, tends to get very dry, a gadget cleaner, sanitizers and below here there are some random sheets, tissue box, sanitary napkins and then this box that you see here is where I organize things like my um, thumb pins and all of those stuff. I, I collect a lot of washi tapes so they kept here <laughs> and some stapler pins. The desk area on the top we have pens and highlighters that I reach out to most often. This is a Google Home which isn't connected for now. This has extra clips and rubber bands. I just randomly added that because the dappa looks cute. <laughs> and then in this first drawer I have all of my pens. So this is very messy. I actually want to organize this with those drawer organizers that you get. If you guys didn't know, then IKEA is opening on the 22nd of June. So maybe two weeks after that, I might go down and pick up some stuff to organize all this mess. I don't want to do it right now because I've overran my budget for this month. So whatever. So here I have uh, different kinds of pens. I have fine tips. I have felt tips. Then I have uh, pen pencils. And then I have some sketch pens of different nib sizes and mostly all of them are standard i will leave the link to all of these pens in the description box below these are my most used and most loved they are the Stedler fine liners if you guys haven't seen my um, video on how to make a mind map uh, then you um, you should check that video out so this is the pen that i used in that video and a lot of people have been asking so i will leave the link to all this in the description box below in case you're interested and in the second drawer this is like very random stuff i keep some notepads and some more sheets of papers and some photo frames like absolute random stuff <laughs> on to this drawer on the topmost you can see uh, this file this file is basically all the research articles that i've been working on from the last two months in the first drawer these are all my gadgets so it has my hard drive my smart keyboard some cables and all of that in the second one we have it's supposed to be notebooks but i just have extra pens these are brush pens that i love and in the next we have dental supplies so this basically has like my files and uh, bowls erotor and all of that this has my micromotor so it's a pretty fill drawer in the extras we have all the other stuff so these are all the command hooks and those um what do you say the adhesives i have a heavy duty stapler um what do, what do you call this uh, 
one, hot gun, hot gun. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> some more staplers for the heavy duty one, and some more small, small stuff that you need. And then in the next drawer, I have my art supplies. So these are basically all the paints. The down there, you see the watercolor paints, and these are all my sketch pens. So I actually bought a vanity organizer. I mean, sorry, travel organizer, and I've stored all of my different sort of color pencils in this. These are watercolor pencils, and these are normal ones. So that's how I've stored them. And then this is my label maker. Again, I will leave the link in the description box below. So basically, these labels that you see here have been done. I mean, made by Bag. And in the last, you have all my documents and certificates. So yeah. Talking about the last part, this is the wall adjacent to my desk. So here I have like a detailed calendar spread where different months have been pasted onto. So here you can see this is June, July, August, and so on. And this is a complete yearly planner. And yeah, from July we have to start our um, exam prep. So I've just written down the different type of topics that I want to do every day. So we're gonna have that pretty organized. And yes. December is birthday month, but unfortunately, this is going to be exam month this year. So that's all for my desktop. Hi guys, so it's the next day. I slept off last night. I did not have any plans of filming today simply because of the fact that I'm headed out to my grandparents' house. It's the wedding anniversary and we're just going to have a family get together. But because I had two important tasks left from yesterday, I thought why not I'll finish it today because I still have some time in hand before we go. So yes, I actually have two discussions tomorrow. I have one on pulpectomy and one on MIH that is molar incisor hypomineralization. I finished pulpectomy today yesterday sorry i finished pulpectomy yesterday it was a difficult one i'm happy that i'm done with it but i still have mih to finish i'm like 40 ish person done with it i just have some more things to go through so that we will be doing today and i thought okay why it's anyway going to take me an hour to do that so i thought why not do some hair care also we can just let the mask sit while we finish starting that topic so yes, we have to hurry up and then let's see how it goes. The hair mask that I'm using today is this 100% natural henna paste from the brand Mamat. I used to remember applying henna at least once every two weeks back in the days. Thanks to mom, I always had that option because making henna paste is not the most easiest of tasks and I'm quite appreciable of this brand to have come up with something so innovative like this. This henna paste is made up of 100% natural henna, coffee, indigo oil and coconut oil. It's free from all the harmful chemicals and it's all natural. So I start off by first completely detangling my hair, taking partitions and applying this paste in small sections. This way I'll be able to cover up all of my hair. This, is, this paste contains 100% natural henna which strengthens and nourishes the hair and also covers up all that grey hair. The coffee as we all know is rich in antioxidants. It boosts hair growth, reduces hair fall, enhances texture and adds shine to the hair. The indigo oil helps with dandruff prevents premature graying, soothes and conditions the scalp. This cooling effect can be felt immediately once you apply the paste onto the scalp. The coconut oil which is present is rich in vitamins and essential fatty acids. It nourishes and accelerates the hair growth. As I mentioned, these are all free from harmful chemicals and it's all natural. You can purchase this from either the Mama Earth website, Nika, Amazon, Purple or from their newly launched official app. You can also use my code GIRIDARAN20 to get additional discount. Every time you buy from them, Mama Earth will link your order on the website to a tree that they plant. By 2025, they aim to plant, plant 1 million trees as a part of this initiative. They are also a plastic positive brand, that is, they recycle more plastic than what they use. Once you open the packet, you can store it in the fridge for up to 30 days. This is how the hair mask looks like. Welcome to my chumpy face. 
oh god i never thought i'll be doing this on social media but here we are so yeah we're going to leave this on for an hour and then let's wash it off and see how the color payoff is i was just about to get started but distractions hi you sleepy buddy you sleepy buddy yeah you're definitely sleepy coming back to this this is actually a seminar that was done by my one of my favorite seniors dr aparna krishnan ma'am if you're seeing this hi <laughs> so she gave me this presentation it's really nice so yeah this is what i'm studying from and i think we have to start from management from the hair wash that was a smooth transition from the chumpy mande to the noodles mande this is how wavy oh, sorry curly my hair gets after every wash and within few hours it's it becomes wavy uh, but as for first impressions i feel like my hair is quite soft and my scalp actually feels quite cleansed uh, about the color payoff i'm not able to tell much because of the fact that i have jet black hair so i'm not able to really tell like whether the color you know has changed or not so yeah that's the update for now um i'll have to oil my hair today because otherwise it will become very dry that's usually the process that you have to do when you apply henna to your hair so i'll oil my hair tonight but now we have to go to the grandparents house so without any further delay let's go i'm going to close this vlog here i thoroughly enjoyed filming this vlog this time and i loved showing snippets of my day to you guys If you guys enjoyed this video then please let me know in the comment section below or give this video a like so that I know you're liking my content and uh, a quick note the video on neat counseling and me in explaining the entire procedure to you guys the video will come up next week so make sure you're subscribed and don't forget to press the bell icon otherwise youtube will not notify you about the videos that i post until next time this is avya signing off thank you so much for watching sending you lots of love